Hey, how's everybody doing? Last Outrider here with another 40k video for you. This time we're going to be dealing with Destroyer, Destroyer Cults. If you don't know what that means, that's Necron Destroyer Cults. But first, let's get into the fluff, shall we? Life is a blight upon the galaxy that the Destroyers would see utterly extinguished. Even among the soulless ranks of the Necron dynasties, the Destroyer cults are considered excessive in their hatred of the young races. A Destroyer cult manifests when a Necron lord steps upon the path of the Destroyer. His mind consumed with a repulsion for all life and a hatred for its weaknesses. The Destroyer Lord exists only to vent his cold fury upon his enemies. By instinct, other Destroyers will be drawn to the Lord like rift sharks lured from the shadows by the scent of blood. Driven into a killing fury by the massed presence of so many destroyers, the cult will scour the battlefield of all life, leaving only smoking corpses in their wake. Ha! So how would you build a destroyer cult in your army, you ask? Now that's very simple. You'll create a formation! which is a separate detachment from your main detachment and doesn't even take up an ally slot detachment. And it also takes up no, no slots in your force organization chart. So after you buy these guys, you can still fill out your normal force organization chart with more destroyers. Or even buy another formation. And it will consist of the following. One destroyer lord. Three units of destroyers and up to one unit of heavy destroyers. You buy all those units and outfit them any way you want, that's your formation. You can even go on and buy another one, even, if you got the points in your game. So once you do that, there are some restrictions, though. Each destroyer unit must consist of at least three models. Now, that's not the heavy destroyer unit, if you took it. It's just the three units of destroyers. They each must have three destroyers in them. So that's nine. If you do all of this, you'll get the following special rules added to those destroyers. And Lord, um, they will all get move through cover. How's that? They will also get the fearsome ruler special rule. And this says, if this formation is chosen as your primary detachment, you can re-roll the result when rolling on the Warlord Traits table in Codex Necrons. Nice. And finally, my personal favorite, you will get Extermination Protocols. All units in this formation Reroll failed to wound and armor penetration rolls in the shooting phase. <laughs> How awesome is that? Until next time, go and try that and have fun. Bye.